Ladies and gentlemen, Kanye West got married again yesterday to a woman that is a Kim K lookalike. I don't know what to say about him. I really don't know. I'm back. Hopefully you had a good sleep this morning. Because I sure didn't. So I'm literally, literally on my phone. And I see this thing where it says Kanye West marries Yeezy designer and Kim K lookalike in private ceremony. I'm like, wait a minute. Kanye West got remarried? Yeah, he did. So, according to the New York Post, it reads, Kanye West has tied the knot with Yeezy designer Bianca Sensori in a secret ceremony Thursday, according to reports. The rapper was spotted wearing a wedding band on his ring finger, though it doesn't appear the pair filed a marriage certificate to make the union legally binding, TMZ reports. Sensori, who was spotted dining out with the rapper earlier this week, has worked as an architectural designer for his Yeezy brand, for a handful of years, her LinkedIn profile revealed. While she's usually a brunette, she recently changed her look to blonde locks, sparking confusion among the Jesus Walks rapper's fans. The pair were spotted with their new rings as they arrived at the Waldorf Astoria in Beverly Hills Thursday. Last month, the rapper released a song titled Sensory Overload, a direct nod to his apparent new bride. The Post has reached out to Ye's reps for comment. The surprise wedding comes just two months after Ye finalized his divorce from Kim Kardashian. The multi-Grammy winner has stayed mostly under the radar since unleashing several anti-Semitic tirades last year. West's career spirals after he tweeted in October that he wanted to go Death Con 3 on Jewish people. After he was met with backlash, he continued to defend his comments and doubled down on anti-Semitic tropes. West was already on thin ice just days before the social media tirades when he showcased White Lives Matter t-shirts at the at his Paris Fashion Week show. He hasn't just been losing out on business. West has also been axed from his ex-wife's life. Kardashian has shared that she wants to hide West's many controversies from their four children. North 9, Saint 7, Chicago 4, Psalm 3. Can you blame her? Like, in all seriousness, can you really blame her for that? You know, so now the polls, they're pretty much, you know, asking, you know, the question, who is, Bian- who is Bianca Sensori? So Bianca Sensori is, an actual architectural designer for his Yeezy brand. She has a master's. She has a mas- a bachelor's and a master's degree in architectural architecture. And she's from Australia. And it seems like she attended the University of Melbourne, where she obtained her degrees according to her LinkedIn account. And after she graduated from high school, she started a jewelry brand called Nylons jewelry and she continues to run it while she was completing her education and then she wanted to become a design consultant at a company called collective and a student architect at dp toscano architects before starting her career at yeezy now it seems like they met before okay We don't know when they met, but we do know that she started working at Yeezy in November 2020. So they could have met maybe a couple of months prior to that. Maybe they met like in, you know, like September or something like that. But the thing that I find interesting is that even though the pair got married, the it seems like the marriage isn't legally binding yet because according to TMZ, the pair hasn't filed 
marriage certificates. Okay. So once it's a once the um, marriage certificates have been filed, it'll be complete official. Now, Kim Kardashian and Kanye they sold a divorce in November, and Kanye dated someone named Julia Fox at the beginning of last year, and then he was dating a Brazilian model named Juliana Nalu, and Juliana Nalu was very, you know, attractive. She was really attractive. And me and a couple of my subscribers, we were happy about him being with her because, you know, she was a sister. You know, she wasn't Adolf or anything like that, but she was, she is a sister. But dig this, they broke up on her terms because she wasn't feeling that anti-Semitic trope that he was um, talking about. And I can understand because... Her being a model, she was not trying and being young and upcoming. It's like, nah, I can't, you know, be see with you. This relationship may not last, which it didn't. And then you're going to mess up my brand. I'm up and coming. I'm up and coming. And I can't deal with this. And I'm only 24 years old. So you're 25. So you're 45. So you are literally, literally. Speaking, you're 21 years older than me. So she got the hell up out of here. And I don't blame her. I don't blame her. So he got with this woman and now they married. Now, here's what I think about this union. I think it's a marriage of convenience. I think that he's marrying her so that it could be. It could be a financial reason in a weird way, or it could be a reason because he's using her talents to remarket Yeezys. Also, it could be done because maybe he wants to start another family, or maybe what is the most obvious is that she's a Kim K lookalike and he still wants to be with Kim K. But... All in all, he once again didn't marry a black woman, which, hey, it is what it is. I could give a shit about that. It's his prerogative. The black, the white community, y'all can have him at this point because he is not a friend to us at the end of the day. And I, after what he did a couple of months ago, I wrote him off. So... It is what it is. But I just wanted to share that because I was shocked about that. Because I didn't think he would ever get married again. But hey, you never know. So with that being said, I'm starting off. Thank you for listening. If you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button to receive future notices on uploads and lives and shorts. Also, comment, like, share. And I'll be back soon. Later.